Hi, so what do we know about the small island of Okinawa, Japan? Well, it's said to be the home to the most centaurians on the planet, along with being the birthplace of karate. Well, is that true? Well, my name is Kyle Smith, and that's what we're here to find out. We're also going to cover some of the general, to our general topics, along with some of the history and the lifestyles of the people that live there. But first, I'd like to get started with showing you where o Okinawa is located. So looking at the map, Okinawa is a small little island inside the red box. It is one of many of the Ryukyu Islands of Japan. It sits inside the East China Sea and just south of mainland Japan. So let's go ahead and get moved in, uh, move on to some of the general topics. Of so according to Britannica, the island is approximately 463 square miles, and it is home to many U.S. military installations. I myself happened to have been stationed there for three years while serving in the Marine Corps. <clears throat> to name a few of the bases, there's the Kadena Air Force Base, Marine Corps Base Foster, Marine Corps Base Hansen, Marine Corps Base Kinzer, and Marine Corps Air Base, the Tema. That's just the name five. There's also probably another three or four military bases there that I can't think of the names of. But just think of that for a second, of only 463 square miles and five to six U.S. military installations. So the U.S. has a huge presence on this, on this small island. Another interesting fact is the government is a constitutional monarchy, which consists of the same three branches of government that the United States does, a legislative, an executive, and a judicial branch. But their head is an emperor, they have an emperor rather than a president. And the emperor is only held to ceremonial purposes other than like the United States president who is also a commander in chief and serves in other many roles and important decisions in our country. So now that we've covered a few of the general, uh, a little bit of general information about Okinawa, let's go ahead and move on to the history. See, Okinawa wasn't always part of Japan. It was once an independent kingdom ruled by a king that ruled all of the Ryukyu Islands, and he sat inside the Shuri Castle, which was pictured at the beginning of this presentation. Also, right here, as you can see, some guys out here doing martial arts outside of the Shuri Castle. So, that is also true, that Okinawa happens to be the birthplace of karate. As you can see here, here is a picture of what they considered the king, uh, one of the kings of Okinawa during that uh, time from the 15th to 19th century. And down here we have a picture of uh, some people during the Battle of Okinawa, which I'm going to go ahead and go into now. So that was another important historical fact, is the Battle of Okinawa, which happened to be the last and one of the bloodiest battles of World War II. The battle sustained over 200,000 uh, 200, deaths, much of which was military personnel and Another was to uh, civilians, Okinawan civilians. So now that we've covered a little bit of the history of the island, I'd like to go ahead and move into the lifestyle of the people, lifestyles of the people that live there. So according to Diplomat, Okinawans are known for their longevity and their friendliness. And a lot of this is because they live on what they call an Okinawa time. The Okinawa time is a stress-free time zone for the people that live there. So unlike the United States, Okinawans don't really stress about having to be somewhere at a certain, or be at a certain place at a certain time. They just kind of go with the flow and it's, this is something they just don't stress out about. So, I mean, if you could actually imagine that here in our country, it's, it's, it's hard to imagine, but there it's, it's real. And this helps them with their healthy lifestyle. Um, they are also known to be healthy and active in their, in their lifestyle, which is influenced by martial arts. Again, imagine that. It is the birthplace of karate. So, it only makes sense that martial arts plays a big part into their lifestyles. And according to Healthline, Okinawans maintain a high carb and low fat diet. Much as this is, uh, they, can, they eat vegetables, rice, and noodles. Not a whole lot of meat is consistent in their diets, and a lot of Okinawans grow their, uh, grow their own foods. Uh, and 
it is also true that they have the highest amount of centaurians on the planet. And centaurians is just another word for people over 100, year old, or 100 years old. So again, small island and a high population of people over the age of 100. So, now we come to our conclusion. So now we have learned a little bit about the history, some of the general facts, and the lifestyle of the people that live there. And I hope that this presentation has shined a little bit of a light on the people of Okinawa and the island and the significance of the place. My name is Kyle Smith, and thanks again for watching my presentation.